I have been avoiding this day for a long time. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Nick. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the um, starter kit thing that I got in the last um, box, e bike box of awesomeness we, that we opened. The one where I got the really cool uh, GNG TR16. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go over this briefly, shoot it maybe, and yeah, let's get right into the unboxing. All right, we got the box set up right in front of us. Uh, it comes with a um, LPEG uh, scar and a Springer uh, FNS9. Um, actually, fun fact, this... Uh, scar is not the first of these scars that we've had on the channel if you remember uh, in some of our older uh, videos this was actually um, Ben's Ben's Ben had a rifle a lot like this it what didn't come in a uh, starter kit but um, he did have one and I believe it's um, somewhere in front of me I don't know where it is but yeah this isn't the first one we've had so let's get the box open I'm gonna see a bunch of stuff on top we have a instruction manual a very small well big but an instruction manual on how this thing works Smaller one, I'm guessing for the pistol. Yep, for the pistol. And we have a charger. Yeah, the gun right here. I'm gonna set this to the side real quick. We have pistol right here. Set that to the side. We have the magazine and yep, crappy BBs that I will be throwing away. All right, that's the box and let's go over the gun. All right, so just a quick overview of this thing. Um, it is completely made of plastic. There is absolutely no metal to be seen. Stock is plastic, receivers are plastic, uh, foregrip is plastic. Optic thing is plastic. Trigger's plastic. Everything on here is plastic. Uh, I'm, not, I'm also guessing the internals are plastic too. Um, not good. Not good at all. Um, the st the UGG boot here has many different positions. Uh, you can fold it. That's cool. You got your flip up irons right here. A Red dot that doesn't work. I guess you could use it as like a backup sight because um, there is a notch right there for like uh, looking through the uh, front post. A charging handle that does not work. Mag release on this side. It's, I mean, it, it's a cheap scar. You're I don't know what to tell you. Then we got the pistol. It's exactly the same. The mag is actually spring loaded, so that's that's a plus, I guess. Everything is made of plastic. And uh, got your safety right there. I think that's safe. That's safe. Up is. Oh no, up is safe. Down is. But yeah, really cheap guns, really cheap guns. Um, now, the magazine's the interesting part. This isn't an actual magazine. Uh, this is actually the battery. So you got your connections right there. That's when you put it into the gun. Connects with those right there. And... Bada bing, bada boom, you got a, got a battery in your gun and you're ready to shoot it. 
Don't you have any juice in this? There is. And this thing sounds horrible. Oh god, I hate this. One of the worst triggers and the worst sounding AEGs I've ever had. You have to pull you have to pull the trigger all the way down just to get the cycle. You have to. Like ugh, absolutely not, no. And there's actually right here a little lever, a little white lever right there, and that is actually a uh decompression thing for the spring so like say it gets locked up like that say it gets locked up like that and then uh oh you can't shoot well you pull the little lever thing back and then it resets and then you're good um you cannot shoot this fast at all like like i've just demonstrated um, it just locks up sounds awful just sounds awful no um but charger here it plugs into there and then this charger plugs into a wall <sighs> yeah uh i guess we should shoot it but i kind of don't want to only because i know it's gonna be bad you probably already know it's gonna be bad. And, uh, I mean... Yeah. You know what? What the hell? We'll shoot it. But before we go do that, um, the way you load it is actually through the, uh, optic here. You... I don't think it's removable. Well, it is removable. You just gotta unscrew it. But, um, the... That's what the magazine is. It's a hopper-fed L... Low-powered AEG. And the Springer, I mean, I, it could be fun. Like, maybe this, maybe it has a fun factor to it. We'll, we'll see. But, yeah. Let's uh, go outside and uh, let's shoot this thing. All right. Uh, we're now outside. We have Scar here. FNS9 here. And I'm going to load them and we're going to shoot them at a target that I set up over there. And I thought I would take this time to briefly show you how to load both of these. Um, now, keep in mind, this mag actually has a reservoir in the back, so you can hold more BBs, and then you pull the follower all the way down and lock it. There's a little hole right in there. You shake it, and then BBs will drop in. I'm not going to use that, because I'm probably not going to be using this gun ever after this. So, I'm just going to load it by hand, like that. One eternity later. All right, I have the pistol mag loaded. Now we're gonna get into this thing. Like I said before, it's a hopper fed, so you're going to uh, pull that tab back and then just pour the BBs in. I'm not gonna load this thing all the way because I'm not gonna be doing much shooting with it. I already know how this is gonna turn out. But uh, yeah, just take your BBs and just stuff them in there. And then you keep doing that until it's full. I'm not gonna do it when it's full, but yeah, that's just all this is. All right, I have a target set up down there. We're starting with the scar. I'm just, just shaking it. Sounds awful. All right, here we go. Two fives are too heavy for it. I right, can see if they're like, I don't know if you can see the fact that they're like dripping or not, but they are. Oh yeah, this does have a full auto function and it's also bad. out of ammo this time yep i'm out of ammo but yeah this thing is absolute garbage let's go into the pistol i have right here 
cleaner. Is it? It's not even holding the BBs. It's flying out of the barrel before I can even. Oops. I just took the mag loaded. Mag fell out. I hit it again. This thing sucks. This thing is actually absolute trash. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, actually, there are some uh, BBs that fell out. I'm gonna reload the pistol and I'm gonna uh, send them out there real quick. All right, I loaded the BBs I found. Let's at least shoot them, I guess. This thing is actually shooting wise. I actually say this thing is mildly better than the car because it's at least shooting two fives good. Like somewhat good. All right, I'm out. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take you back over to the table and give you my final thoughts. Yeah, all right, final thoughts. I think you guys already know what they're gonna be about these. That is, I hate them. I really, really hate them. They are not good. I would not recommend these to anyone. There's so much, so much better options for the price this is at. I will also leave a link in the description to where uh, you can look at it, purchase it, I guess, if you really want it that badly. Just, no. Take a rain check on this one. It's not good. The pistol, I mean, it's a spring pistol. Like, I would actually say the pistol in this case is better than the scar. But, I mean, let's be honest, they're both terrible. All right, that's enough of that. I am tired of looking at these things and holding these things. So, I'm just going to leave it at this. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say, man. These things just, they're just terrible. They're, they are terrible. I would not recommend these to anyone. <sighs> Alright. See you guys in the next video. Peace.